Okay, you of course have heard of squaring the circle. We're going we're gonna to look at circling the square of the Great Pyramid, but uh, not to find a uh, same area or a same circumference, but let's circle the square of the Great Pyramid and see what we get. So there's the top view of the Great Pyramid, a plan view, and there's an eastern elevation view, and there's the 440 royal cubit base of the Great Pyramid. So we're going to move that over uh, to the, the uh, plan view here, and we're going to put a circle inside that Great Pyramid, and then, of course, that radius, that, that base, 440 royal cubit base, becomes the diameter of that circle. So we've got the diameter of the inner circle, and then its circumference is pi times d, so 440 times pi is 1,382 royal cubits. Okay, so now we're going to take the diagonal of the Great Pyramid, which is 622 royal cubits, and use that as the diameter of another circle. And, of course, this one will be exoscribed around the Great Pyramid. So we've got the two circles now. We're circling the square with an inscribed circle and an exoscribed circle around the Great Pyramid. And the circumference of the outer circle is 1,954 royal cubits. Okay, so if we subtract those two, we take the outer circumference of 1,954 royal cubits and subtract the inner circumference, which is 1,382 royal cubits. The difference is... 572.5 royal cubits. Okay, so let's convert that to meters. So it's 299.79 meters. Okay, great. Well, the speed of light is 299,792,000 meters per second. Okay, so look at the incredible similarity of numbers. The 2, the 9, the 9, the 7, and the 9. I mean, this is 99.9% .9 correlation divided by 1,000. So, you know, I've done videos before about the speed of light in the Great Pyramid. I showed a way to calculate the speed of light based on the height and the capstone. And then, of course, many people have shown the GPS of the Great Pyramid is connected to the speed of light. But here's the third way that the Great Pyramid is being associated with the speed of light. Okay, so... I want to interpret this. In this channel, we, we try and unlock secrets. We try and discover things. We try and unpack things. We try and decode things. So what, why? Why does this circling of the square, what's the connection to the speed of <clears throat> Excuse me, the speed of light. So we've got three elements here. There's the square of the Great Pyramid. <clears throat> There's the exoscribed circle and the inscribed circle. So it's a trinity of things. It's three simple uh, symbols. Uh, and interestingly enough, uh, two of them symboling heaven or eternity, the circles, and then the, the uh, Great Pyramid symbolizing a, a, uh, the earth. But, okay, so we've got those three. And then within the Great Pyramid, the blue, the square, there are two lines that are critical, the base and the, the uh, diagonal, because those give us the circles. So you've got a trinity within a trinity. So, you know, a sort of an intimation of, of a divine power here. And then I thought of the Eye of Horus that we derived from, from Giza. We didn't invent this. It, if you do the sacred geometry of the, the pyramids, the Vesica Pisces, that Eye of Horus is formed. So it sort of looks like an Eye of Horus. So again, we're getting the idea, you know, of, of the idea of heaven looking down here. Okay, now here's some ancient symbols. From Egypt to Mesopotamia to the Americas, this symbol, this circle within a circle, stood for the male and female aspects of the original creation. So we're looking at a creator and, you know, a, a androgynous or hermaphrodite, you know, male and female. The mother-father recalled by so many races, but the, as the creator. So this symbolism of circling the square, the Great Pyramid, is plainly channeling this creation, really the Zeptepi, the original creation that the Egyptians refer to. And so, uh, but, but here's, the, here's this, this caveat, though. So yesterday, Salty Lotus Gypsy posted this lovely picture and talked about all the symbolism. And I said, so many esoterica and esoterics get lost in symbolism. One symbol interprets another symbol, and soon symbol becomes substance. That's dementia. One ounce of antitypical reality, in other words, what does the symbol stand for? One ounce of antitypical reality is worth a ton, a literal ton of symbolism. And Salty Lotus Gypsy said, agreed. Okay, 
So let's plug that into what we're doing here. So I don't want to get lost in the symbols, the symbols interpreting the symbols. What I've tried to say that the, these are ancient symbols that symbolize the creator. And look at this one right here where the blue arrow is. It's there, there's a pyramid holding a sphere. Now, there are many people saying today uh, that that the Great Pyramid originally had a sphere at the top. And so the Great Pyramid seems to be a, a perfect symbol. It's got the circle circling the square. It's, it's the pyramid shape. It had a sphere at the top, apparently. So this symbolism is talking about the, the well, let me add this. Let there be light. Because at the creation, let there be light. The Creator said, let there be light. The Alpha and the Omega, let there be light. So again, you've got the three elements, two circles and a square, and then you've got the three within a three because there's two lines in the square that are that are critical. So you've got the Trinity. You've got the Eye of Horus, the Eye of Providence watching out. You've got this idea of the world mountain because here's the picture of the, you know, the, the, the mountain, the pyramid with the two circles on the top of it. And Charles Coase did a video yesterday about the world mountain, how that's associated with creation and all these different things. He calls them pyramids like this structure, but they're the world mountain, this, this motif of which is symbolized by, which is pictured in that symbol, but that symbol is picturing all these world mountains. But what are they symbolizing? They're symbolizing the powerful mother, father at creation, the Alpha and the Omega creating and saying, let there be light, circling the square, circling the square, which connects to the speed of light, is saying, let there be light. The speed of light, the Great Pyramid, and circling the square. Thanks for watching.